You know, one of the things I've been enjoying about doing these daily YouTube videos for the month of October when I'm doing these uh, Inktober pieces that I've drawn, I've been drawing them daily and I've been making a YouTube video a day. What I've been enjoying is the interaction that I have with all the viewers' comments. I'll look at your comments and I'll look at some of the topics you guys talk about and I'll, we have this interaction going and I thought that's very, very cool. So thank you all for commenting. And if you want to comment, below on this video please comment down below and if there's any other characters you want me to draw for the inktober pieces please comment them down i actually take a piece of paper i'll write them all down and then as i go i'll look at the list and i pick from them so for those of you who just landed on my channel my name is walden wong and i've been a comic book artist for marvel and dc and today we're working on inktober number 14 my 14th piece so you've been keeping track i've done 13 previous videos with the Inktober pieces and this one is number 14. Number 14, I posted images on my social media to see if you guys can guess what it is. And some of you guessed right, correctly. Some of you are saying that's Shang Chi, but this is the character right over here. This is Iron Fist. So when I was thinking about a pose, what pose can I do to do a martial art pose? So now I was thinking about something, something like this. See, I, I don't really know martial arts myself, but I was thinking about this pose. And then in the video, you'll see me using my own hand to model, and then I'm drawing that pose. So ever so often when you're drawing hands, hands is one of the hardest things to draw. And I would actually look at my own hand, or I would take a picture, if I can't see a certain angle, I would use my cell phone, take a picture, and then look at my own hand, and then I would draw that pose. And that's how we got uh, these hands right over here. So without further ado, let's check out how I work on this uh, iron fist piece from sketching to drawing it to inking it. Here we go. So for those of you who aren't following me on Instagram, my Instagram handle is Waldwell Art. And then on my Facebook, I have a page that's just my name, Walden Wong. So hopefully we're Facebook friends there. Now, I've sketched this image of a character and before I drew all the details of the outfit, I posted it on my social media, on Instagram, as well as Facebook, as well as here as a YouTube posting. And I asked people, who do you think this character is? Here's a sketch. Who do you think I'm drawing? And that was such a fun interaction with everyone. People were guessing that this character was Shang-Chi. Oh, look, I'm using my left hand. I'm making a pose and I'm drawing my hand. Ever so often as an artist and you're drawing a pose, Sometimes I just look at my own hand or uh, take a picture of the back of my hand or something and then look at it on my cell phone and then just uh, get that pose right. You can always use references by Googling it, but if it's quicker and you can just make it yourself, just make that pose, have someone take a picture of yourself and then use yourself as the model. So back to the Instagram uh, and Facebook and the media posts, I asked people, who do you think this character is? Can you guys guess? And uh, surprisingly, a lot of people were guessing Shang-Chi. I wasn't thinking of Shang-Chi when I was doing this uh, uh, Iron Fist over here. When I was sketching out the pose, uh, although it can be Shang-Chi, but I was thinking Iron Fist. So that was a very fun interaction with everyone that uh, commented uh, that they thought this was Shang-Chi. But this is, this is Iron Fist. So right here, I'm just starting to uh, craft out uh, his face. And I remember one of the first comic books I bought as a kid was a, a book called Power Man and Iron Fist. I don't remember if it was a mini series or a regular series, but that uh, I remember going to a local 7 Eleven and they had these comic books on the spinner rack. And one of the first comics I bought was Power Man and Iron Fist. It was just in the spinner rack. And I would go back every week because I didn't know comic books were coming out once a month. I would just go back every week to 7 Eleven to see if they have the new issue of Power Man and Iron Fist. And I was chasing it. And the artist that was working on that book, I believe, was uh, John Byrne at the time. And he drew one of the best Iron Fist uh, out there. There's a TV show in Netflix called uh, Iron Fist. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, for those of you who have seen it, please comment down below and let me know if it was a good show or not. I'm thinking about watching it, but I also know that it was canceled. So if it's canceled, I don't really want to watch it. But if it's worth watching, uh, comment down below let me, and let me know. So one of the things with Iron Fist, the original character, he had this outfit and he looks like he's wearing slippers. These really small slippers. Now, I'll put it up on the screen so you can sh see what I'm talking about. And I was never really a fan of that, those slippers. And then his pants, the pants didn't really go all the way down to his ankles. It was just halfway on the calves. And it's just look kind of 
like he's at home walking around wearing slippers. So when I drew this outfit, face, I decided to have him wear boots. I just think it looks a little bit cooler. And around his arms and his hands, I have him wearing straps. Kind of like a um, martial art kickboxer getting ready to do a, a fight. And then they're wearing all these straps around their wrists and their hands just to protect their hands. And since Iron Fist does a lot of punching, I have those straps all over his hands as well. So when I made this sketch, I didn't want to leave any clue to let uh, viewers guess who this was. So instead of making Iron Fist with a, a fist, I made his hand open. And... Of all the people that guessed, everyone guessed it was Shang-Chi. And I can see how everyone can think that this looks like Shang-Chi with the pose. But there was a couple of people who actually guessed that this was Iron Fist. My hat's off to you figuring out that this was Iron Fist. I asked, how did you guys figure out it was Iron Fist? And they said, oh, it was the pose. This is the way he's, he's, he's posing. So I, I'm really impressed with the way you guys figured out that this was Iron Fist. I'm going to be posting more social media sketches and I'm going to be not including any hints. I'm just going to sketch out a character, a basic character, and I'm going to post it and I'm going to see if you guys can figure out who that is for the rest of the Inktober pieces that I do for the daily videos. And I like to see what kind of uh, answers I get because that, that's kind of fun uh, seeing what you guys think that I'm going to be drawing. So here... After penciling everything in, filling everything in shadows, just so I know where the shadows is, I'm going to go in there and I'll start inking everything. And right here, I'm inking her, his straps first, all the straps on Iron Fist on his waist. Now, when I do comic book inking, usually I like working on the things in the foreground first. Inking stuff in the foreground and then inking the background later. If I ink the backgrounds first, like for example, I, if I ink his body first and I go back on the straps, there's a chance that lines will overlap. So I always like to work on things that are in the foreground first. Just like how I had his uh, right hand, his left hand inked first and then the straps and then the body underneath just to get everything in the foreground done first. And then I'm doing some lines where I'm just pivoting the pages with my left hand and I'm just going in there and I'm inking it. Yeah. Yeah. This is, so this is Iron Fist. One of my favorite artists that worked on Iron Fist is uh, John Byrne. I remember when I was buying the comic book in 7-Eleven, John Byrne was the artist uh, that was working on that. Okay. So um, right now I'm doing all the holding line around Iron Fist. Holding line is the exterior line around the body. With that, I concentrate on line weights, how thick a line is, how thin it is. And majority of the time, I'm also remembering where the light source is coming from. So when I'm doing line weights, light source is usually from the bottom away from where the light is. I mean, the, the thicker line is away from where the light source is. And when there's a really heavy light hitting on top, like for example, if you look at Iron Fist's head, that line that goes around his head is more thin. It gets thin to a point where the line breaks. That's what I call the line weights. After doing all the line weights, I'm going in there and I'm deciding to just fill in all the shadows as well as do taper lines on all the areas just to give it a gray area. With this Iron Fist, compared to other my other Inktober pieces, I'm adding a lot of more, more bulges around the anatomy, more shadows, more blacks around the character just just because it looks cool and with this piece i'm going to go in there and do a lot of cross hatching uh, almost all the areas that i'm right now i'm just doing one direction hatching and then when it dries i'm going to go back in there in there and i'll do some more cross hatching yeah so th this inktober piece uh this year was a fun experience two years ago i also did Inktober, and I posted some of those images on my website. My website is waldawongart.com. On my website, you can look at the shop area and look at um, art, some art, some sketches, and you can see some Inktober pieces that I've done two years ago. With those pieces, I've only used microns, thinking that this is the same way I would do it at conventions. But with since since convention season was kind of closed this year because of COVID, I decided to just ink these pieces using a brush instead of using a micron to ink the whole thing. So the, the look does look a little bit different compared to two years ago. This is more fluid and this is a little bit quicker using a brush. I've been using a brush for a, quite a long time. When I first started working in comics, I didn't use a brush. 
I actually, I didn't even use crow quills, microns, or brushes. Uh, the one of the ink pens I had was a Rapidograph te technical pen, and those were the pens that I got from um, high school, and I just used it. And I thought what everyone used was those pens to do inking. Later on, I learned how to use a nib, and I got used to using a nib, and that was pretty good because it's just like holding a pencil. You're just drawing and just inking. When I started using a brush, I had such a hard time using a brush. I could not control the brush. The brush was fraying. I could not do line ways. I could not do taper lines. I can't do anything with a brush. It was a mess. And when I first started using a brush, I hated using a brush. But after practicing for a while, and I really mean this, the more you practice, the better you get. And this is with anything, not just with brush work. The more you practice something, the more you understand the tools that you're using. Once you understand the tools, you know that certain tools can do the job more efficiently and more effectively than another tool. I can use any tools, microns or quills or brushes or technical pen to mark a line, a taper line or a line weight, and I can have that same line coming out. But each tool does certain techniques and rendering and texture better and quicker than another. So as an artist, it's always good to learn as many tools as you can. Sometimes I'll go to an art store and I'll go look at the art supplies. And if I see a tool that I've never used before, I would buy it. I'll bring it home and practice it and see how that turns out. And I would think, what can I use this tool for? Can I use this for another area? So it's always good to learn as many different art tools that you can. Don't be limited to just one tool. I know sometimes you, artists will have a comfort zone and they're just doing using one tool over and over again. But the more tools you understand, the better you'll get at improving your work. It's sort of like cooking. If you're cooking with uh, certain utensils or pots and pans, the more, more kitchen supplies you use, the better your um, cooking will be. So this is Iron Fist. It's all done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Anyway, I'm just using the micron in there and putting in a little minor details to fill it in. There it is, Iron Fist with his uh, right hand glowing, all the cross hatching, all the detailing, the straps, making sure I didn't create any tangents in any of the art. Tangent is when two objects shares the same line. So when inking, make sure you have no tangents. That's the Iron Fist piece that I worked on, from sketching to penciling, from the idea, from using my hand to figure out the pose, to inking it, the finished piece right over here. So I hope my videos inspire you to do art and continue drawing. And those of you who don't know how to draw, you can just look at some of my previous videos where I have basic tutorials. So check those out. Uh, please like, share, and comment down below. Uh, every time you comment, I'll respond back. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. So anytime I upload a daily video or any video, you'll be one of the first to see it. So until next time, take care, keep drawing, and have a good time. Bye-bye.